Hello, my name is David, and welcome to my Java programming tutorial videos. This is the first video in a series of many videos where we're going to go over how to program in Java. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at what a programming environment is, or an IDE for those of you unfamiliar. We're also going to take a look at some of the top ones that are out there that a lot of people like to use. And we're also going to see what some of the benefits are from each of them. So let's get on started here. So luckily for you guys, I have already Googled what is an IDE. And Wikipedia shows us an integrated development environment, otherwise known as an IDE, is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. An IDE normally consists of a source code editor, build automation tools, and a debugger. Most modern IDEs offer intelligent code completion features. So what does all that really mean? Well, if you're a novice, like most of us are when we start out doing something, you may not have a good idea of what it means. Essentially, an IDE is just a tool we use to program with. You could think of, you know, a text editor or Microsoft Word or something like that, something that a program that you would use to type a document in or something like that. It's kind of a glorified version of that that's geared towards programming. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why the heck do I care about an IDE? Why don't I just use something simple that I understand, like some kind of text editor or something like that? Well, let me explain. Basically, there are such incredible tools that come along with IDEs that in this day and age, pretty much everyone is using it, and uh, they have been for a while. So this isn't something new, and this is something nearly all programmers use. So get on board. So let's talk about some of the top ones that are out right now and that most people are using. Now we will go into depth later about some of the features that each one has once we actually set up an IDE and things like that. But anyways, I've also done more work here and Googled even more things for you guys. So right here we've got the best five free IDEs for Java developers. And since that's what we're going to be talking about, I figured, well, we might as well look at that. So here's a very obvious list from 2014. And just like the title says, it covers the best five free IDEs in their opinion anyways. And so let's take a look at them. And as we can see, Eclipse is the number one best free IDE. Now again, this is just their opinion, but uh, I happen to agree with it. Uh, Eclipse is, oh, spoilers, this is what we're actually going to be downloading and using for all future tutorials. Um, it is probably what the majority of people use these days. It's got a great community and tons of great features. Uh, I've actually only used three of these IDEs. I've used IntelliJ, which is good. I liked it, but again, I think Eclipse is a little bit better. And I've used JDeveloper, and I was also required in my computer science program to use an IDE called JGrasp, which was horrible, but enough of that. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I would certainly recommend Eclipse and IntelliJ if you really are inclined to use that. But uh, if you'd like to follow along with all these tutorials, I am going to recommend using Eclipse. And that's where we're going to be doing all of our programming from, so you best get on board. So to sum up this video real quickly, uh, we learned about what an IDE is and why it's useful. Just to reiterate that again, uh, we need this to program in, and uh, it has very useful tools inside of it to help us with that. So that's why we'll be using it. And join me in the next episode where we download and install and kind of set up Eclipse. So look for that. Uh, I'll probably post it somewhere after this video. And yep, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you guys learned a little something and join me in the next video. Thanks. Have a good night.